All right, welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. And this one's a special one because it does come with a story, and I feel like the other cooking shows, they get more views, basically. Thank you for being fans. Thank you. But they always do this. Now, everybody's asked, like, I've gone all over the place. We've done over 400-plus videos of different recipes and stuff, everything under 10 bucks. But people ask me, like, what's your go-to broke food now? This was one of those growing up. Like, now it's just, like, ramen and dirt, <laughs> you know? But, it, it, kid, the fried bologna now, either you've heard about it in the song about the guy going to jail, or you just grew up in the South. And this is what we had. We were broke. you get a package of that bologna, and it would last a week. Like, you eat bologna every day. I hate it. I don't even like having it in the house for the show, but I will show you how to do it. And I know everybody's like, but fried bologna is so easy. Some people just don't know it, man. Don't be making fun of nobody. Ever. Nobody's born knowing everything, okay? So be cool, and let's <laughs> learn how to make fried bologna. Before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all the youtube -y stuff. Thank you very much for everybody coming back. And then there's a link down the tube for our merch. Does all this kind of stuff. We're small business and very much appreciate it. And let's just get into the food. Sorry that there was a story in this one. Food time. All right, this one's super simple. I'm going to show you how to stretch it out when you first get your paycheck. So really all you need is bologna. Like the simple, classic, red-ringed, really slimy bologna. Uh, you don't need butter or anything to cook. Usually you can cook it because of the grease that comes on it. Like you can get you some baking grease, but that's for the good food later. So you don't want to mess with that too much. You can get some cooking oil. That's one thing. Woo. Or you can get some butter, but you don't need that. There's enough grease on the meat to get that done. But if you want to do some of this fancier stuff, you're going to need some butter later. You're going to need some bread. Basic ass white bread, wonder bread. That was 75 cents at the store. Uh, later, if you got condiments, that's a thing, but you ain't that broke if you got condiments. So I usually go with mustard. It's a little sharper. And it hide, it's anything to hide the taste of bologna. Same as salt and pepper or my personal favorite, if you have them around the house, uh, is lemon pepper. This kind of covers most sins in the kitchen. And hot sauce covers all the sins in the kitchen. This again is my stuff. Uh, it's got packing glue on it. That's why it like that so don't judge it so yeah uh but simple basic all you need is bologna and bread for a bologna sandwich and a skillet and some heat to make it a fried bologna sandwich so uh yeah and then just the further you get away the cheaper and easier these become so i'm going to show you some super simple ones first it's a basic so get you a skillet put it about medium heat this is about five out of the nine okay we're going to let that warm up a little bit and then you need to get your bologna right now we're going to use any grease or anything here because it is slimy and greasy enough that you put it in here. Now remember, take this red ring around the outside. On other sausages and meats, that's usually like animal casings or some kind of skin or intestines or whatever, and it's edible and able to cook. On bologna, it is plastic, and it is not edible. Take it off, or you'll have it looped up in your stomach and just all kind of horrible stuff that I don't want to mention around food. So once it starts warming up, you want to keep turning this a little bit, mostly because it cups real hard. If you just cook it thoroughly on one side and not on the other side, you start to see a little bit of brown spots, but that's what we're looking for. We're looking for some deep brown spots anywhere. Basically, it's where the grease is pocketed on the meat. I know that sounds gross, but man, it is bologna and we are broke, right? So when you get in here, see where it's starting to cup, starting to edge up on the sides. You want to keep that down. Now, if you get you a spatula, you can push it down to keep it cooked, right? Abraca spatula and put it on there. It looks like the world's worst bat symbol, but uh, just kind of press it down, let it cook the heat, not cook the heat on one side. If you get this, like I said, once it gets up to cruising speed, it cooks really quick. See, that's the spots we're looking for. That's the browning and then the actual fried bologna look. Uh, if you let it look all like that, it will be burnt. This is way too thin. So your basic stuff, like once it starts getting brown like that, you get your uh, your bread. I don't know why I was brushing my arm there because I burned it a little bit. Eh, just take it, put it between the bread. Bam! Basic fried bologna sandwich. This is generally what you get in, in like the small town lockups and the old country songs and stuff like that. Now, if you got a little bit more money, like paycheck isn't so far off, Get you a little bit of butter. Let it get the grease down in there. Uh, again, take the red ring off. Get your bologna, put it in there. And then just cook it like it's a regular piece of meat. But remember, it's still a very thin piece of meat, and it cups pretty hard. So be sure to cut it. You see where it's starting to brown all over instead of just in the big spots? It's still going to cook like that, but that butter kind of helps convey the heat where it's not just in the little pockets of the, uh, the, the meat grease <laughs> in the bologna. So, but remember, it'll cup right before your eyes, man. The more you cook it, the more it will curl up. So I just kind of keep it on there and turn it pretty regularly. These cook in like 30, 45 seconds. They are that thin and that easy for that heat to perforate and cool through and heat both sides. So it works pretty well. Uh, I usually just leave my spatula on it. Be careful if you have a plastic one. It can melt that plastic and rubber ones. Again, this one I'm going to use condiments because we got a little bit more uh, mustard. But you only get mustard on one side and hot sauce on the other. Okay. So get you a little bit on your bread and then... Hold this greasy, <laughs> and if it's, it's starting to brown on that side, you flip it over, 
and then just make sure it's cooked to perfection. Like I said, bologna is raw, but you can eat it that way because it's been steamed to cook through before it's turned into bologna. See, that's the kind of color you want on that. Now, the opposite side of your mustard, you hit it with some hot sauce and then bread because we ain't got mustard be spreading it on both sides because that's just a waste. So on one side, you can taste it, you're fine. So the second time, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with the butter and stuff that's already in there. Just go ahead and cook your bologna the same as we have been, this time with the butter, right? Let it cook down. Make sure you get it nice and brown on both sides. The trick about this one is when you want to be fancy and you have butter. Butter is one of those things that typically runs out more than anything else. But I'm using this little sliver of butter. I have cooked our bologna to, the, to what I like on it. I'm going to melt this butter down. You don't have to melt it all the way. But it melts relatively quick. Now get your bread and then just fry your bread. Boom. This is a lightly toasted. They used to see this at like the greasy spoons and stuff like that. They would butter the sides of the buns and then put them on the grill for a minute to cook the bottom of them, absorb the butter. Tastes great. Gives it a great like a texture, like mouthfeel of like the crunchy bread. And uh, so just put it in there, brown it. Now it's going to soak up a lot of that butter. So if you're going to do two, you're going to need to add butter again. Okay. Uh, again, does this in like 30, 45 seconds at the most. If you want it darker, that's fine. It's completely up to you. So take that, put it off to the side, use your secret, uh, your weapon, your uh, paper plate with a paper towel on it, and it'll soak most of that grease up. But then your second bread, again, just a little sliver. Like this is teeny tiny, less than a teaspoon of butter. Go ahead and do that. Get your second piece. Once you get both sides of it as browned as you want, set it off. Now, let me show you how we're doing this one. So you get this, you get condiments on both sides this time. So mustard, always shake it up so you don't get the mustard water. Mustard water right when you just you got like perfectly grilled fried bread and food to put on it. And you get mustard water everywhere. So you build that up, put your bologna on there. Now this is where you put your seasoning, salt, pepper, whatever. I'm going to use a little bit of lemon pepper and a lot of hot sauce. Because you know, let's face it, I like the hot sauce. Uh, again, I go with the, the Louisiana stuff. A lot of people around here like the uh, Tabasco, which is fine. But we are broke, so Louisiana stuff is a lot cheaper, and you usually get a lot more for it. But because we have money, and we just got our paychecks, we're finishing off our bologna stuff, we're going to put condiments on both sides. Now, you can use mayo or whatever you want, ketchup if you're weird. Uh, I use mustard because, again, it's just about hiding the flavor of that bologna. Like, this is three different ways you can tell how close you are to the paychecks about exactly what you have on your bologna sandwich or exactly where you're locked up is what your bologna, fried bologna sandwich looks like. This is was a staple growing up. A lot of people, it still is. Uh, at this point, eating bologna uh, just makes my stomach flop because we had to eat so much of this as a kid. But it happens. Uh, I guess you, I, it's meal prep if you want it. I mean, it's a bologna freaking sandwich. Just take a minute to cook up a bunch of bologna and just wait for making a sandwich later in the week. That'll work. It's well under our budget. Well under our budget. I think all this stuff here, even if I had to buy the condiments and stuff brand new, was under $5. So... Yeah, this one worked out pretty well, but it's a, it's a basic that we need to get out there and let people know. And there you have it, folks. Fried bologna. Uh, three different ways. It just depends on how close you are to your paycheck or how far away it is. That's the thing. If you did it differently, you want to let me know how to do it differently, let me know. That's what it's there for. I'm here for you people that are, <laughs> are newly poor, as it were. <laughs> uh, I, it happens, man. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes you just got to find a way to make it work. That's it. If you didn't know how to fry a bologna sandwich... There you go. Three different ways, three different <laughs> types of paychecks you got to get, or just how long you got to stretch to get you another one. Let me know. Put it down in the comments. That's what they're there for. Or put me this over on social media. We're on Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon, all those at Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. We're on Instagram, The Between, and me, Osmi Dirty. I'm on all those, including Twitter and over on TikTok. But I'm generally just talking nerd stuff, painting miniatures, collecting action figures, comic books, whatever. And I will see you all next time. I hope things get better. Don't worry about choking on that baloney. It's a motivator. I'll catch you all next time.